ಅಸ್ಮತ್ಗುರುಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಶೇಖರಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀವಲ್ಲಭಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಆಳ್ವಾಳ್ವಾಳ್ಯರುಳಿಶ್ಚಯಲ್ವಾಳಿ ತಾಳ್ವಾದಮಿಲ್ ಕುರವರ್ಧಾಂ ವಾಳಿ ಏಳ್ಬಾರು ಮುಯ್ಯ ಅವರ್ಗಳು ರೈತವೈಗಳ್ ದಾಂ ವಾಳಿ ಸೆಯ್ಯಮರೈ ತನ್ನೊಡನೆ ಸೇರ್ದ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಟು ಎವರಿಬಡಿ ಐ ಡಿಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡಿಟ್ರಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಹೈಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಯ್ಪಾಡಿ ಗೋಕುಲಂ that is very popular among all the literature either in sanskrit or in tamil so for example you take mahabharata uh, or other puranas like sri bhagavata purana or later uh, that is uh, poets like alvars who have composed uh, works in tamil as well as the acharyas that is disciples of ramanuja like kuresha and then even further later acharyas like vedanta deshika in sri vaishnava sampradaya yeah. or even in the work like uh, krishna karna amrita of leela shuka almost all these works are covering major portion only about the balakrishna charita rather than uh, krishna as a young person or krishna as a old person in fact uh, uh if you calculate the age of krishna at the time when he delivered bhagavad gita that is during uh, mahabharata war krishna would have been around uh, 80 years old if you calculate exactly but uh, that is the only thing we say about uh, uh, what he has done in bharata war and all that but uh, detailed exposition is only done on krishna's earlier life in one of the works of uh, commentaries of uh, divya prabandham uh, uh, one acharya said that uh, that is the one acharya by name nanjiya what he said was the krishna charita while he stayed at uh, gokula that is the bala charita what we call he is the middle portion of a sugar cane the sugar cane what will we do is that is we will leave the bottom portion the root portion uh, just uh, i used to give lectures only in tamil and so just uh, i will explain it in tamil and then i will come to english also because that uh, that is more comfortable for me the karambu endra eduthukondal karambunudaiya keel pagudhi irukkalli adala ver appdi solluta adha kai chuduvaala mel pagudhi ella ele thale nu adhiyam kaichuduvaal da naduvula irukra portion mattum da ellarum romba rasichu saapiduvaal that is the people will not uh, uh, take uh, the uh, bottom portion of the uh, sugar cane as well as the top portion of the sugar cane top portion is full of uh, leaves and all that and that is not also tasty but the people will enjoy only the middle portion of a uh, sugar cane in the same way when krishna's life comes all the scholars poets and other persons nanjiya says will enjoy only the middle portion of krishna's life that is the during his stay at gokula the earlier portion that is what krishna born at madhura and then came to gokula and all that these portions are not very much enjoyed because it is just like the root of a sugar cane and once he left the gokula then whatever he did is like uh, uh, the top portion of the sugar cane and that is also not very much tasty see this is the expression given by uh, nanjiya in one of his work that is uh, uh, was stated in the vyakyanam commentary of madhuragavi alvars kannin unsharutham so 
balakrishna's life is very much uh, interesting and for that uh, uh, my uh, uh, lecture predecessor that is um, dr k srinivasan who uh, happens to be uh, my colleague uh, as well as uh, uh, that is uh, i had the privilege of uh, studying under him that is uh, along with him studying along with him that is we were classmates and uh, after that uh, we were uh, working together also so he gave the all the reasons for uh, that is uh, la, why we should uh, ca contemplate upon the krishna leela that is bala krishna leela and on so on see this uh, seminar is uh, uh, conducted for about uh, th three days and unfortunately i had been to uh, melkot uh, uh, mysore the uh, tirunarayana puram to attend a domestic function at uh, melkot and so i had uh, very tight work there and so i could not listen all the lectures of uh, this seminar but uh, one particular topic seemed to be very much interesting for me and so i went through that uh, recordings of uh, the seminar today today morning that is uh, but uh, that uh, lecture was delivered uh, yesterday or day before i don't know uh, one uh, professor from washington state university uh, if i remember correct her name is uh, lin and yet uh, she was uh, dealing with uh, krishna's uh, uh, that is butter stealing story explained in uh, sanskrit and tamil rich uh, literature so that uh, that uh, topic seems to be very interesting and so i wanted to listen her lecture and uh, i had the opportunity of uh, uh, listening to the lecture uh, recording uh, of course she has done a lot of research on this particular topic that is uh, what we call in tamil vennai kalavu kanda charitram that is krishna stealing the butter in sanskrit it is called navanita chaurya vrittantam navanitam is uh, butter and chaurya is stealing it the vrittantam is uh, you know, story or something like that so navanita chaurya vrittantam and uh, that has been very much uh, uh, that is enjoyed and uh, uh, discussed and elaborated in almost uh, all the uh, works uh, which deals with krishna but uh, in some places uh, i will not i was not able to agree with uh, her views totally because uh, uh, for example uh, i should say she said that uh, this stealing of butter is not at all found in earlier literature if i remember correct what she said was that is professor that is washington state university professor what she said was the krishna stealing butter is not very much uh, described in uh, vishnu purana that is true in vishnu purana there is no reference for krishna's uh, stealing butter that is uh, in vishnu purana it is said that krishna was always very mischievous very timid boy and so uh, yashoda tied him into a martyr that was given in vishnu purana that is correct but in any other purana also we don't find any big reference for krishna stealing butter she said that uh, is a little bit uh, uh, that is uh, a hurried conclusion i think because even in mahabharata mahabharata actually deals only with the life and uh, uh, the other things of uh, kuru vamsha but krishna is also playing an important role in mahabharata you know so uh, there is uh, a particular portion which introduces krishna in mahabharata that is in mahabharata i am telling sabha parva and in the 52nd adhyaya in sabha parva 52nd adhyaya uh, the krishna's uh, story is given in very short form it is, it is not elaborately given there it is only given in a nutshell but even in that particular uh, place that is uh, in mahabharata sabha parva 52nd adhyaya i am quoting shloka 57 that is once again for reference i am telling sabha parva uh, 52nd adhyaya shloka 57 uh, it describes about krishna's stealing butter 
ततस्सबालो गोविंदो नवनीतम तथा क्षयम ग्रासमानस्तु तत्रायम गोपी बिर ददृशे तथा दामना दोलु कले कृष्णो गोपी बिस्त निबंधिता Here it is said that uh, Krishna was stealing butter. Balo Govindo Navanitam Tatakshayam Grasamanasu. When he was stealing butter, Gopi Bir Dadrishe Tata. He was seen by the Gopikas there. And so what they did was they tied him. Damna Ulukale Krishna Gopi Bihi Nibandita. By those Gopikas, he was tied to a martyr. It has been said, see, it is in Mahabharata, it is not clearly said that uh, she, he was tied uh, uh, to the martyr by his own mother, Yashoda. But uh, it, it has been here in Mahabharata, it is said that Gopi Bihi. Gopi means Gopi Bihi means the uh, cowherd ladies. Then we can say that uh, Yashoda is also one among them, you know. She is also a Gopi, Gopika, because she is also belongs to that uh, uh, cowherd. Uh, uh, that is on the go column and so she would have tied him into the marcher so sri krishna was stealing butter and he was tied to the marcher that has been mentioned even in mahabharata i am telling because mahabharata is an ancient text uh, other even than even older than the puranas and another statement made by that professor was that uh, even in uh, uh, sri bhagavatam the stealing of butter is not very much uh, uh, stated. But uh, that is also, uh, uh, I think, uh, a hurried conclusion. Uh, in Sri Bhagavatam, 10th uh, uh, Dashamaskanda and the 10th book, 8th Adhyaya, the 30th Shloka, Astagra Kye Rachati Vidim, Vitaka Vulukala Jaihi, Chitram Shantar Nihita Yuvanaha, Nikita Vayunaha, Shikya Bande, Shutat Viti, Dwanta Kare, Dirta Maniganam, Swanga Marta Pradipam, Kale Gopyo Yerhi Griha Kritieshu, Subya Grachitaha. That is in this verse clearly it is stated that uh, that is, uh, I am not giving the exact translation of that verse, but I will just give the gist of it that uh, Krishna was uh, stealing butter by using some stool or even Ulukala. Some marker that is uh, the, the butter was kept in a high place in a uri uh, in a uh, that is a, uh, in a in a higher place and to get that butter Krishna used pitaka ulukala jayhi so he used some stool or marker and climbed on that and then he stole that butter and uh, uh, all these things were. Uh, reported this sloka is a uh, uh, complaint by the gopikas to yashoda see krishna is doing these kind of mischiefs in our houses that is even we keep the butter in a higher place krishna comes to our house in our absence and he stoles it by using some stool or marker and so on so forth so this has been stated in uh, bhagavatam also and then when we come to the verses of Alvar, we have got a lot of references. Of course, uh, she, uh, that uh, professor also accepted about Alvar's references in her work. But uh, one surprising thing was that she said that uh, Sri Bhagavatam was very much influenced by Alvar's work. Yeah, I am not able to understand that at all because uh, in my opinion, not only in my opinion, according to the tradition, Sri Bhagavatam is very old. Only Alvars came later. So, if at all, only Alvars would have uh, been influenced by the statements in Sri Bhagavatam and not Sri Bhagavatam uh, to be influenced by Alvars' work. But always uh, uh, some scholars say that all those things are interpolations. So, in original Bhagavata or Mahabharata, these things are not found and they are only later interpretations, they say. How can they come to that conclusion? I don't know. But anyhow, see, probably all works are only that is um, influenced by the earlier works known as Sri Bhagavata. See, if you take uh, Harivamsham, 
there are lot of references for krishna stealing butter how did he and balarama both of them went to several houses and stole butter and they then, then brought the pot into the street and they broke it on the street and they enjoyed the sound of uh, the breaking of the pot and all that all these things are stated in harivamsha purana harivamsha is an appendix to mahabharata so harivamsha is exactly uh, written only for uh, uh, extolling the greatness of lord krishna uh, vyasa himself says that shauri katha laba ganga eva puni mahe and i want to clear my tongue by uh, using the ganga water in the form of shauri katha that is krishna leela and then he composed the harivamsha in harivamsha this balya chaitita of krishna is very much described very much in detail but uh, all those things are not taken into consideration by the uh, some of the western scholars i think and um, in if you go to the works of alvar in fact uh, she has uh, quoted uh, elaborately about the tirumangi alvar's verse but actually she gave only the meaning but not exactly the verse but if you, you and uh, i was also surprised to note that uh, in that paper it has been said that uh, the earlier alvar did not uh, say anything about stealing of butter but only uh, his uh, tying to the marcher was me- mentioned by the earlier alvar rad vennai tirdinan endradai mudala mudal alvargal ella sollave illa avana oralodu katti potta mattum dhan solra abdinalla statement irundha maadhiri irundhadu that is also i think it is wrong uh, see the first ever alvar koihe alvar that is the first alvar he says viralodu vai koinda vennai kandu ஆட்சி உரலோடு உறப்பிணித்த நான்கு உரலோவாதி ஏங்கி நினைந்து இருந்திலேயே ஏங்கி இருந்திலேயே ஓங்கோத வண்ணா உரை தட் இஸ் கிருஷ்ணா வாஸ் ஸ்டீலிங் தி பட்டர் அண்ட் யூ ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் அபவுட் டு ஈட் தட் இஸ் விரலோடு வாய் தோய்ந்த தட் இஸ் இஸ் ஃபிங்கர் வாஸ் அட் இஸ் மவுத் டு ஈட் தி பட்டர் பட் அட் த டைம் யூ வாஸ் காட் ரெட் ஹேண்டட் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் ஈட்டிங் த பட்டர் ஜஸ்ட் யூ வாஸ் டேக்கிங் இஸ் ஃபிங்கர் புல் ஆஃப் பட்டர் to his mouth and vai kitta eduthundu pona kaiya adukulla viralodu vai thoinda vennai kandu then what did uh, yashoda did aichi oralodu urappinitha nanru then aichi that is uh, the cowherd girl that is the lady yashoda he, she tied him into a marcher and at that time oralovadi yengi irundhu then he started uh, that is started weeping loudly and uh, so on so alvars are enjoying his uh, saulabhya that has been very much uh, uh, explained in her paper also and she said that even though he was a great uh, uh, supreme self he came to this uh, world as a uh, small man and uh, showed his saulabhya so kuralavadi yengi irundilaye yengi irundu aludilaye ongoda vanna urai so even the first alvar he says that krishna stole butter and because of that he caught red handed and then he was tied to martyr by yashoda and if you take the third alvar pay alvar he says mannundum peichi mulayundu maathadai vennai velunga vegundu aichi kanni kayithinal kattunna that is uh, uh, lord as the lord he mannundu he swallowed the entire world at the time of uh, pralaya and he was not satisfied with that then in krishna avatar also he uh, that is uh, drank the milk given by yashoda uh, sanare no, not yashoda putana peichi mulayundum that is he drank the milk of uh, putana that he, with that also he was not satisfied then what did he do mannundum peichi mulayundum maathadai vennai velunga he stole butter and he ate, ate it and vegundu uh, aichi kanni kayithinal katta then yashoda Uh, tied him to a martyr kattund irundile endru the payalvar also says the same thing and if you take the other alvars like kulashekar alva very beautifully describes about this vennai kalavu charitram the navanita chauriya charitram muludum vennai alaindu tottunnum mugulalan siru thamarai kayyum elil kon thambu kondu adipadarkku elge nilayum vendayir thoindha shavvayum it is i am not able to explain all the uh, that is uh, elaborate all these things because for, for want of time and uh, coming to nammalvar 
he was very much uh, that is uh, devoted to this particular charitra in tiruvai mudi he says matturu kade vennai kalavinil uravidai aapundu that is uh, 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 at the time of uh, stealing butter he was caught red handed and he was tied to the martyr and he was uh, remaining there itself without even breaking that rope he stayed there yettiram 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 what is this what is this what is this what a saulabhya is this then uh, uh, thinking about this namalvar uh, it, it uh, according to the tradition he soon be mayange vulthara namalva elundirukkaradhukku 6 maasam aachu appadinalla avrude charithrathile he got up only after 6 months that is he was in uh, that is i should say coma stage for about 6 months thinking about only this krishna's charitra so these kind of uh, uh, references are in alvar's work uh, in another work aithi agi annayal andru vennai vaarthayul cheetram undu alukoota vappan that is yashoda uh, kept all the butter in one particular place suddenly she returned and then searched for that butter and oh the butter is not there that is the only thing she said she did not say that uh, butter has been stolen by his son krishna and so on she did not say anything oh where is the butter andru vennai vaarthayul that is vennai vaarthay mean the vennai is not there the butter is not there that uh, she only she only said that immediately what happened krishna started weeping and said no no i didn't do that i didn't do that i didn't do that by that he himself exposed himself that he only stole that butter see uh, this, this is uh, very beautifully this verse is uh, described by vedanta deshika in sanskrit in gopala vimshati hartum kumbhe vinihitakarah swadu hayyanga veenam drutva tama grahana chotulam mataram jata rosham prayadishat prachalita padah napagachan natishtan mithya gopah sapadi nayane meelayan vishwagopta Vishwa Gopta means he is the protector of the whole universe. Vishwa Gopta. But what he did do? What did he do? Artum Kumbhe Vinihita Karaha. That is to, to steal butter. He just put his hands in the, into the butter pot. Swadu Hayyanga Veenam. At that time, Yashoda came there. And Dhritwagra, on seeing Yashoda, he became frightened. Dhritwagra Dhamma Grahana Chatula Mataram Jata Rosham. because yashoda became very very angry because she has already told him don't go near butter because if you eat butter more and more then it will spoil your health so you should not eat more butter she has already warned him but still krishna for looking her word and then he went to steal butter and when yashoda came there he was afraid of her then what did he do that at that time praya dishat prachalita padaha he want to run away from that place and he even uh, that is uh, raised one one of his foot but one of his feet but uh, he could not go there so he stood like that in that uh, posture that is one foot is on the floor and another foot is just raised prayadishat prachalita padaha na apagachanni natishtanni he neither said not ran away this uh, appeared as if he is dancing for the butter vedanta deshika explains very beautifully uh, in uh, the scene uh, as if uh, uh, seeing his own eyes so these kinds of verses are found in uh, that is uh, alvars verses uh, that is alvars verses are only influenced from as i said in mahabharata uh, as well as puranas like hari vamsha and also bhagavata purana so these are the see the, the uh, itigasa puranas influence on alvars work we should say see in my opinion alvars influence on bhagavata purana is uh, uh, because they say that uh, there are lot of interpolations in bhagavata purana but we don't accept all those things in fact uh, i uh, heard her saying that uh, one of the decades adavadhu or padigam tirumangi alvarude periya tirumulila 10 8 4 nu nenikiren adha vande Uh, that deals about krishna's childhood place in 10 verses not 10 14 verses that is manamodai tungal ayar kolamadanal it is beginning like this and uh, for some reason what she said was 
This particular decade has been interpolated into Thirumangi Alvar, sorry. <laughs> this is not the original uh, uh, composition of Thirumangi Alvar, I think she said. Yes. It, it, these things we cannot accept because, see, for the entire work of Thirumangi Alvar, there are commentaries written in 12th century. 12th century itself, the commentaries have been written. See, in, uh, that is written by one uh, Acharya known as Periyavachan Pallai. And that Periyavachan Pallai has written commentary to this particular decade also. In, that is in that uh, order. Uh, that is when he is uh, commenting all the verses in order. He has uh, commented upon these verses also. That is, the, the commentary is still available in print. So, as far as so far, I have not heard uh, any interpolation in Alvar's work. Uh, and only for the first time, I am hearing that uh, even the work, uh, uh, that is the verses uh, are interpolation hard work for, for the first time I am hearing uh, from this uh, uh, seminar. But I want to just uh, uh, register my views in this. See, so uh, the, the, that uh, those verses we don't consider as interpolation uh, in Divya Prabhupada because our, our uh, strong opinion is that Divya Pramdham has got no interpolations at all. And following the works of Alvar, uh, Kurat Alvar, that is Srivatsanka Mishra or Kuresha, he was a direct disciple of Ramanuja. He has uh, authored uh, Panchastava, that is five stotras. And in those five stotras, he, <coughs> up and down, he discussed about Lord Krishna's uh, Bala Chaitita. Uh, especially in Atiman Shastava, there are number of verses, more than about uh, 20 verses on Bala Chaitita of Lord Krishna, <clears throat> particularly about Navinita Chavuryam. <coughs> he has uh, uh, composed beautiful verses. Sadye Gavya Nihe, Atiman Shastava, verse number 38. Sadye Gavya Nihe, Nijadamni Bhumuna, Paryanta Satmasu, Kimartam Achuchura Swam. See, when butter is uh, very much available, plenty in your own house. Why did you go to other houses and st stole butter? He asked Lord Krishna himself, Mutnam Chakim Vajakato Gatashe Shamagre. All right, you have ate butter. Let, uh, let it be. Then, why did you break that pot by throwing it into uh, that is uh, 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 that is a floor? Gopi Janasya Parikha Sapadan Kimasihi. Then, you have become a laughing stock before the Gopikas, you know. Why do you do all these things? He asked Lord Krishna in the uh, Atiman Shastava. Then another verse, yeah, that is uh, verse number 39. That is, you stole butter, but somebody came at the time. So you want to hide that uh, butter. Then what should you do? You either you should have put that butter into your mouth or you th should throw it the butter into that pot itself. But what you do, did, did you do? Sigda Mamuna Karapalla Vante Gatre Pramajya Niragaha Kila Nirvishankaha. What Krishna did was he applied all those butter in his hand on his face itself. Why did he do that? Because he is uh, uh, I say that is in another place it has been explained by Acharya that uh, he thought that I have to hide this butter somewhere. Where can I hide this? I should, I should, you should have, either you should have uh, ate it or, or you should have thrown it away. But he just applied it into his face. Why? Because he said, he thought, see, the butter applied in my face is not even visible to me. Then how can it be visible to others? That is the the of a child. That is uh, Chinna Kodandi Kirka Kudya Ariyami. Why did you do that? Pura Tarvan asked. Then Swam Anya Gopakirka Gavya Musham Vesoda. Gurvi Todiya Mahumana Mamushya Manaha. Premnata Dhamma Parinama Jusha Babanda. Esoda tied to you uh, to a martyr, not by a rope, but her prema, by her love to you, because she could not uh, tolerate uh, the uh, scoldings of the other people. So, 
तादृक्ते चरितम ना आर्य जना हाँ सखांते वेन आर्य जना हाँ the people like Alvar, when they hear this uh, story, they are not able to bear it. Oh, the Lord of uh, the whole universe is uh, tied into a marker. What is this? And then another verse, Matra yajit tomasi dhamani sanni baddha ta chravina mudita chachuda nirjara anam. See, baddhanasi handakardayam bhagavan kutastati sarvohi vachya vishaye vivrunoti viryam. That is, oh Krishna, you have been tied to a marcher by your mother. If you want to reciprocate, do something uh, that is re retaliate, what should you do? You should have done something to Yashoda. That is, you should have tied Yashoda, but uh, you did not do that. What did you do? By showing this uh, Charitra, you have tied our Alvar. That is, the Alvars have been bound by this Charitra, and then they became very much moved, you know. So what Kaurat Tarvan says that uh, instead of uh, reciprocating or retaliating Yashoda, what do you do? You do not do anything to do with Yashoda. But if you do not do anything to do with Yashoda, you will do it. You will do it with your own life. In this Charitra, you will cut your own life. You have tied your own life by this kind of Charitra. Then finally, he, Kaurat Tarvan himself gives a reason. That Sarvahahi Vashya Vishaya Vivrunoti Viryam. All those people will show their valor only to the people who are under their control. The people above them, they cannot show their valor. Because in that avatar, Yashoda was above you. So you cannot, you are not able to show your virya against her. So what did you do? All wars are devoted to you. So what did you do? By showing uh, this Charitram, you tied hard work. So, Vashya Vishaya Vivrunoti Viryam. Tanaka Kirt Patawal and Rathana Viryat the Khan Vikamudiya. Ayanala ni anna bunina anna. Yashodhan at the Khan Vikamudiya ila. And the Kopa at the hard work at the Khan Vikamudiya. And the Buddha Ramba beautifully, the Krishna's Balya Chetitas are explained in these verses. And uh, finally, one more verse I want to mention here. A beautiful verse about Navanita Chauriya Vrithanta itself. That is uh, very much, uh, uh, that is my Jnana Acharya, Guru Prativaraj Bhankar Manangara Acharya used to uh, say about this verse uh, very often. But uh, I don't know the author of this verse. But, uh, some Kavi. Kumbhumiti Kimbaramati Ambadadi Madhye Dimba Nanu Bhutam Miha Dhuram Apayahi Amba Navanitamiti Sambadati Krishna Manda Hasitancha Maturati Ramyam That is one, one day Shodha was uh, Shining the card, and uh, the uh, uh, butter was uh, coming out in that um, uh, uh, card like bubbles, you know, bubbles. Well, then Krishna uh, went uh, near that uh, part and wanted to eat butter. So, what he asked his mother was, Gum Gumiti Kim Brahmati, my, ma my mother, what is coming from that uh, 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 card? Kim Brahmati, what is coming from that uh, card? Gum Gum Iti. Gum Gum Iti. That is Gummu Gummu Ni Anma Varade. What is that? Something coming from butter is Gum Gum. What, uh, that is uh, coming from the card. What is it? He thought that Yashoda will say that it is butter. Then uh, he will ask uh, for butter. But Yashoda, what did he do? If I say it is butter, then Krishna will ask for it. So, Somehow I want to deceive him. So what did uh, so that did was Amba Nan Bhutamiha Duram Apayahi. Oh my child, that is Bhutam. That is a demon. Don't come here. Duram Apayahi. Go far away. Otherwise, what will happen? That Bhutam demon will eat you. He will swallow you. That demon will swallow you. So don't come near. You go away. Yesoda said Krishna. Then Krishna thought of her while, oh, I know that is very, very well, it is only butter. But uh, Yashoda says that it is not butter, but it is a demon, it is a Bhutam. And if I go near, uh, that Bhutam will uh, swallow me. Uh, what shall I do now? Then he just think the thought for thing for just a while, and then just went near that part, put his hand into the part, and uh, got a handful of uh, butter, 
and uh, thrown it into her mouth, saying, Oh, my mother, before he, the demon eating me, I will eat him, I will swallow him. The, the, saying so, he just put butter into his mouth. And the Buddha, Yana Vedder, the Minadi, Nan the Buddha, the Vingo Ren Salutu, and the Venay, the Vila Potana Kana. The path of an Then he said, Oh, my mother, you said it is demon, but it looked like butter. Will the demon also be like butter? He asked his mother. <laughs> then Manda Haditancha Maturam Mithi Ramyam. At that time, Yeshoda laughed for a while and he became, she became very happy that my son is so intelligent. Even if I say something, he is able to accomplish his task. So Yeshoda became very happy. This is a kind of a beautiful verse by a Kavi. I don't know who is the author of this Kavi. This kind of beautiful verses are found in innumerable number of uh, uh, that is uh, books that is uh, i write from itihasa then purana then alvar then so, so so many kavis let it be that uh, uh, that is uh, kavis of uh, a particular tradition that is like kura talwan and all that or general kavis like leela shuka or even other kavis we find a lot of references for lord krishna's uh, uh, earlier life and that is very beautiful. That is why uh, Nanjir also said that uh, this particular period of Krishna's life is like the middle portion of a sugar cane. That is so sweet. And this kind of uh, uh, sweetness is uh, given to all of you for about three days uh, by Vishnu Mohan Foundation. For that, uh, all of us should be very much, uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, dedicated and uh, beholden to this uh, Sri Vishnu Mohan Foundation. Always uh, Vishnu Mohan Foundation is uh, arguing, uh, that is arranging very beautiful seminars from various scholars, from various places. And each of the scholars is giving uh, the <coughs> uh, thing in their own perspective. And everybody is uh, very much uh, happy to enjoy all these things. Um, and uh, I uh, once again thank the organizers for giving me uh, such, a, uh, such a good opportunity to be part of this uh, seminar. And uh, usually I am delivering lectures, uh, a lot of lectures I am delivering, but all those lectures are in my mother tongue in Tamil. And so and I, I find it very easy to explain all these verses in Tamil. And uh, because uh, the participants are from various places, I had been asked to deliver the lecture even in English, but if there are any mistakes in the expression, please excuse me. And uh, I thank once again one and all for giving this great opportunity.